What causes pump surging? Hayward Super 2, the pumps start out fine and the pressure on the filter appears to remain steady, but the pump seems to momentarily lose prime, flows back, then again reprimes and flows forward for a short time and the sequence repeats. The skimmers are not sucking air. Hi, my name is Gary. I'll be glad to assist you with your pool equip. Approximately. How long after your installation of your new pump did this start? Is the pump installed above or below water level? Is it for a pool slash spa combo or above ground pool? Answering my questions will help to give me a better idea of your situation so I can try to give you a more accurate answer. Since I'm not A your location, I need your input to evaluate this. It started the same day. It serves a combination pool slash spa and the pump is above water level. Okay. Thank you for the response. Your description sound like there may be an air leak on the suction side of the pump. Make sure the valves for the intake and return are lining up properly for the pool or spa side, depending on where the water is diverted to. Also, check the lid for the pump basket, and make sure the lid o-ring is seated properly. The supply and return diverter valves are fully rotated to the pool position and the strainer lid is secure and snugly closed. I have not applied any lubricant the o-ring gasket because the basket says not to. Did you connect the replacement pump to the supply and return lines with unions, or did you plumb them direct with glue and couplers? Have to leave for a bit, I'll return shortly. Please post response and reply upon return. Thank you. They are hard piped without unions. I can open the diverters and see if the gaskets inside are still in good shape. Thanks for your suggestion so far. I've got to go to sleep. I'll check back as soon as I can. When you open the valve covers to check the diverters, also check that the front of the diverters completely cover the opening to completely hold back the water for both the supply and return lines. I would also recommend to remove the pump lid and look at the o-ring, as there are times I have seen the o-ring roll and get misaligned allowing for air to enter the pump. Keep me posted when you get a chance. Thank you. Gary, it looks like you had a good call on the vacuum leak. I placed a DWV test plug in the strainer inlet, valved off the main drain, plugged one skimmer inlet and inserted a drain cleaning fitting into the other strainer inlet attached to a garden hose. That pressurized the suction line to the pump. I was able to find a couple of leaks that were letting air into the system when under suction. One was at the stem of the diverter valve. I will let you know if that solves the issue after I am able to complete the repairs tomorrow. Hopefully all the leaks are accessible enough to easily repair. I'll await your response. Gary, the repairs were all good and there is no surging. I am happy with your analysis. Ed. Ed, happy I was able to help. More importantly, I'm glad the pump is running properly. If you need further help on this topic later, you can post it here and I'll be happy to help you again. Your business is greatly appreciated. Gary. Ed. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.